Good morning. I'm Eric Roselli. I'm the surgical director of the Aorta Center here at the Heart Vascular and Thoracic Institute at the Cleveland Clinic. And I'm sitting with Dr. Xiao Xiao, Xiao Ying Lu. Mm -hmm. We thought it would be a nice opportunity for us to talk a little bit about aorta, something that we both have a lot of passion about. Okay. Why don't you um, tell the audience who you are and um, a little bit about how you got here with us. It's a privilege to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. I think with mentorship for how I got started in cardiac surgery and my senior year of high school and I had a mentor, I got paired with a mentor through our high school program and she brought me into the operating room. I got to scrub in on a case, which I don't think high school students are allowed anymore, but back then it was allowed and I got to see the heart while it was still beating and I think that's all it takes for someone. Uh, that, that's all it took for me, and I, you know, was mesmerized by just um, how intricate the procedure was, the whole team dynamic working together to um, help this person, so um, and help a patient. And she's just been an incredible mentor for me through the years as well. So, um, did you know it was going to take you like another twelve, no. or fifteen years or something <laughs> no. to get to where? <laughs> no, you know, and I don't think you when you first have that image of who you want to become, and you have that instant you know, I, idea of, you know, this is what I want to do with my life. You don't really, you don't know the training and the process it takes. Um, but I think if you have that passion and, and that kind of vision of what you want to do with your life, you get guided by, you know, the ups and downs throughout the training and you kind of persevere through all of that. Um, but yeah, it's been the long road and it's good yeah. to, to finally be here and to be able to really do something for patients now. Um, but yeah, that was where cardiac surgery started. And then the same with kind of my interest in aortic surgery started um, in residency. Um, I did the um, I-6, the six-year cardiothoracic surgery training program at Emory University. My mentors who are uh, you know, both aortic surgeons, they brought me into the OR. I got to see aortic surgery. I got to do aortic surgery research projects and um, really fell in love with the aorta. I think there's um, the aorta and aortic surgery has everything about it. There's the genetics component of it. There's the pathophysiology of aortas and aortic dissections and aneurysms. Um, the surgeries, I think, are the most fascinating surgeries that you can do. They're very complicated. They're very personalized and individualized to the patient's pathology. And then afterwards, there's so much, so many interesting research questions to be answered. Yeah. Um, and, and they're just a, you know, it's a lifelong patient. So I think you really develop a relationship with those patients. So like everything about it, um, you know, I, I'm preaching to the choir at Dr. Rizali, but. Yeah, um, I have a similar story about how, um, well, I didn't get to see a heart when I was a high school kid. I got to hang out with a doctor and, uh, and talk to patients, and I thought that was pretty yeah. great. And then yeah. I kind of found myself uh, down a similar pathway. But um, And the aorta was a little different for me. I'm much older than you. Um, but at the time, close to 20 years ago, um, it was sort of a burgeoning area of growth. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, of course, I know the, the mentors you, you mentioned, and they did a good job of getting you trained there. Mm -hmm. And um, and then of course we um, we were lucky enough to encourage you to come hang out with us and maybe kind of get a little bit next level. Absolutely, we are the largest yeah. aorta center yeah. uh, in the in North America, and um, and certainly um, at the cutting edge of so many things that um, I I had the 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 good fortune of being in the right place at the right time when a lot of things were just starting, and I think. Um, we continue to see a lot of new technology and developments in the treatment of aortic disease. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, I, I will, I, will uh, I guess, confess to you now, it was a bit of a, um, an audition that you had when you were a fellow. We knew you were going to be great. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> and you proved it, and, and now here you are doing great things. You talked about one of the really exciting things about treating aortic disease and the real draw about treating aortic disease is this ability to be creative and tailor the therapy to each mm -hmm. individual patient because, you know, it isn't a very um, discreet lesion like you see in a single valve or something. Right. There's, mm -hmm. there's multiple areas where disease are involved and that requires us uh, to sometimes use different modalities. Can you talk about that a little bit? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's that's a you know super exciting area of aortic surgery, and I, um, that there are so many more hybrid techniques out there, and um, the aorta is you know extends from the aortic valve and it goes all the way to your head vessels, to the, your um, abdomen, and then to your lower extremities. So it's a huge segment of aorta that needs to be treated, and now there are more and more approaches through a hybrid, which is an open surgery, and then also an endovascular. Um, surgery approaches to treat the aorta um, and really exciting developments um, in endovascular techniques to be able to treat problems for aortas that were you know, previously dead, you know, more deadly and, and for patients who may not have been candidates for open surgery and endovascular therapies really transformed um, you know, the new innovations for aortic diseases. Yeah, and um, we've had the advantage of you know, being trained as uh, full open cardiac surgeons mm -hmm. and and endovascular specialists to learn how to combine those technologies, haven't we? When you're um, meeting a patient and you're discussing with them the problem they bring to you at the time, mm -hmm. what do you think is one of the most important messages for the patients? I think that for the patient, um, you know, the, the reason why I wanted to do this was to help people. Obviously, every, you know, I think every doctor says that, but you know, I truly care about patients. I am definitely someone who you know, I think of patients, this is how I would want my family member to be treated. And I think I want them to, you know, the, that we're going to be dedicated to your care for the lifelong term and want their family members to know that, you know, we're going to do the very best and find the best optimal management for your, your loved one. And that entails a multidisciplinary approach at the clinic. Um, I think the benefits of the clinic, uh, the Cleveland Clinic, is the, the experience, um, you know, from you and from the whole team um, that's been here um, and developing new innovative strategies, the latest uh, research and the latest strategies to treat, um, to treat you or your family member. And then we have that wealth of experience and the wealth of the teams that are here to be able to do that very expeditiously. Um, so, you know, I want them to know that, you know, that you're going to be a patient for life, we'll take care of you, and we're gonna do our best to do it in the most optimal, expeditious manner using a multidisciplinary approach with the latest developments in care. I think that's really well said. We, um, uh, I certainly enjoy collaborating with you, and, uh, and we have that, um, I think, built into the DNA in this institution. Mm -hmm. It's a collaborative place. And yeah. feel that as soon as yeah. you, you've become part of our team, and, yeah. and um, not only, um, you and I working together and, and the other members of the aortic surgery team, uh, but members of the aortic team in general, we have cardiologists, mm -hmm. our vascular surgery colleagues are uh, wonderfully collaborative. And I always um, want to brag about that because I think yeah. that's some special relationship that we have. It's mm -hmm. like wonderfully collaborative yes. <laughs> where we focus around the patients um, and, and also the intensive care unit docs, both in the pre-surgery phase and afterward. And then the imaging specialists that are here to see the patients along with us afterward and mm -hmm. make sure we pay attention to every detail, like limiting radiation exposure and things like that. Right. It's, yeah. it's really great mm -hmm. as we grow in knowledge. And, and you touched upon also what we're doing to explore the disease in a scientific space. Mm -hmm. I just see it becoming more and more exciting. Thanks for taking some time. Thank you, Dr. Rizzelli. Thanks so much.